one of the most well-funded startups in the race to mass deploy humanoid robots finds itself under growing scrutiny as questions mount about the true capability of its technology. Silicon Valley-based figure is facing criticism for possibly exaggerating the work its figure two robots are doing at a BMW factory in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Founded in 2022 by Brett Adcock, Figure has rapidly become a focal point in the tech industry due to its ambitious goals and significant financial backing. The company's aim of deploying more than 200,000 humanoid robots by 2029 has attracted both interest and skepticism. Now, a series of unflattering news reports has hit the startup as it reportedly seeks to raise $1.5 billion from investors for a valuation of nearly $40 billion. The shocking amount would place Figure's value above Ford Motor Company and Spotify. Figure's controversy could ripple beyond the company itself, fueling investor fears that hype is outpacing reality and intensifying concerns that an AI bubble may be forming. Figure announced a partnership agreement with BMW back in January 2024 to explore integrating humanoid robots into its manufacturing processes. A few weeks later, the company announced it secured $675 million in a Series B funding round for a $2.6 billion valuation. By August 2024, Figure and BMW reported successful tests of the Figure 2 robot during the technical evaluation phase. During the pilot, the company said the robot successfully performed tasks like inserting sheet metal parts into fixtures. In late 2024, Adcock announced that Figure had delivered robots to its first commercial client. He did not name BMW explicitly, but industry observers widely understood the automaker to be the client given past statements and the existing partnership. He celebrated the occasion, saying the startup officially became a revenue-generating company. Adcock gave Herbert Ong and robotics expert Scott Walter a tour of Figure's headquarters, where robots trained for the upcoming deployment. Here we have basically a BMW workstation. This is where we do practice runs and do uh, robot validation. It's basically a physical twin of what we would see at our client, where we have robots running through these work cells every day. Basically, get the robot ready for, for prime time. Heading into 2025, Adcock said a fleet of the robots would be working full time for the plant, which is the automaker's largest manufacturer of vehicles by volume. Yeah, we want to do about 20 hours of useful work per day, um, seven days a week. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, BMW will be paying for robots. Okay. Um, and we ultimately, we want to help as much as possible. Fortune Tech correspondent Jason Del Rey contacted the automaker after seeing a post from Adcock in February indicating that a fleet of figure robots were performing end-to-end -end operations at the plant. In a LinkedIn post, the reporter said he was surprised when a spokesman told him the manufacturer was only running off our tests with a single humanoid robot at any given time. The testing involved a single task, retrieving metal sheets and placing them into fixtures to get ready for welding. The automaker declined to explain the discrepancy, he said, and directed further questions to the founder, who didn't respond to inquiries. Delray stressed that no one is denying the partnership is real and that an on-site press event is scheduled for May. The Wall Street Journal also published a critical piece questioning figures' expansive claims. According to the journal, a BMW spokesman said it had three of the robots at its facility for technical evaluation as of April 1st. Only one robot was in use at a time, practicing picking up and grasping parts during non-production hours in the plant's body shop. The following week, BMW told the newspaper that there were now more than three robots on site in use in non-production and live production situations. A few weeks earlier, Adcock discussed the project in an interview with futurist Peter Diamandis, a figure investor. We have two commercial customers. Um, the first is BMW. We have robots there that are operating every single day. Um, they're in Spartanburg, South Carolina. They're helping to build cars. Just robots here. Um, that are basically doing, like basically putting sheet metal on fixtures. Um, this is a job that every major manufacturing company in the world does. Our robots are doing that fully autonomously at, at the speeds we need to basically um, hit high performance um, with no human intervention, no faults, no failures. The same day the fortune piece ran, Adcock posted a short video from BMW on X with more conservative language. 
He said the robots at BMW are advancing thanks to Figure's self-developed AI system called Helix. Figure announced its Helix AI system earlier this year, positioning it as a breakthrough that will enable the wide-scale deployment of autonomous humanoids. The announcement came shortly after the startup severed its relationship with OpenAI. At the time, the founder said relying on external models had become less practical than developing one tailored for robotics in-house. According to Figure, Helix is a vision language action model tailored for humanoid robotics control. The startup says the model is the first of its kind to run on multiple robots simultaneously. Figure also released footage of several of its robots performing sorting tasks at an unnamed warehouse. Adcock has said Figure's second customer is one of the world's largest logistics companies. With the new customer, Adcock said he saw a path toward manufacturing 100,000 figure humanoids over the next four years. But between those two groups, like we have interest of like like 100,000 robots in the next four years. Wow. Really so, but we have 50 more clients like that we could sign. Like right today, like we've already talked to, we've like done the vetting process. Figure is also planning to start testing its robots at home starting this year. The company is aiming for a price point of between twenty dollars and $30,000 once production is scaled, which is in line with what competitors like Tesla and One X Technologies are targeting. Critics have been quick to point out that Adcock faced accusations of misleading investors as co-founder of Archer Aviation. A class action lawsuit filed in September 2023 claimed that Archer exaggerated its flight testing achievements and misrepresented the feasibility of its FAA certification timeline. The allegations were in part based on a report by Grizzly Research, which accused Archer of using heavily edited videos to overstate the technological progress of its air taxis. While the suit was later voluntarily dismissed, the controversy continues to cast a shadow over Adcock's business dealings. Adcock left Archer in 2022, citing a misalignment between his vision and the board's direction, particularly after the company went public. As the humanoid robotics industry expands, companies like Figure face challenges as the gap between expectations and reality widens. Chinese firms like Unitree Robotics and Engine AI frequently showcase the advanced capabilities of their robots, which are primarily intended for researchers and developers at this point. As robots like the Unitry G1 become commercially available, customers have expressed disappointment that the advanced movements require significant expertise and training to achieve. Figure is seen as one of the biggest threats to Tesla as it plans to scale production of its Optimus humanoid robots. After a fleet of Tesla bots stole the show at the company's fall 2024 We Robot event, Critics quickly called the automaker out for not disclosing that they were primarily controlled by teleoperation. And Elon Musk will likely get called out if his plans to send a Tesla Optimus to Mars next year don't materialize. For more on those plans, check the related video.